Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to see like how we can format a bar chart alternative with an alternative colors for a bar. So let's say we have this bar chart and we want to make it something like this and the formatting can be done as per your requirement and the color. So I've just showing you that how we can change the color of alternate bars uh, in Power BI. And for this uh, simple logic we are going to follow is that uh, ranking the sales by product and based on its rank, we will change its color. So let's get started how it can be done. So for this, I have already created this uh, bar chart. Now what I want is like, uh, I need to create a one measure. Uh, I would say I, I would go for the one column actually that uh, how we can create this thing. So let's get started, uh, new column. I will also show you like how it looks like here. That's why I'm using this view right product. And for this, actually we need to use the rank function. And let's say we have this rank. What it needs, first it needs the sales table. Once it's done, we need the sum of sales for the sum of sales at a product level. So what we can do, calculate. We can do like uh, this uh, calculate sum of sales. This has been done. Now we want to have the uh, sales at product name. So, so we can have this in this way. Let's say on Excel where we need table name. Then we require sales product. This is done. We are closing the bracket. Now we need the values. We do not require the values here. We need to order by. We have the order by. Now we need a dense rank. Dense rank is nothing but it will not skip the ranks. Now we have the rank function here. Let me create this thing for you first. So if you see, we have the ranks here. So every product will going to have some uh, rank. So if you see this particular canon has the rank one. This is rank two. So likewise, we can have these things. Let me sort it by ascending. If you see rank one, two, three, like this with the same product. Now we are going to, what we can do, we can just have an if else function. If this rank is even, then I will say one else zero. If you see, we have this thing. So I have just created this called rank product now. Now we are going to use this in our formatting. For this, select the chart, go to format visuals, bars, then you need to select the FX function. And then you have to go to the rules, then select our rank product that we have created here. Uh, we need to select the numbers equals to zero. If this, then I want this color. Then we need to add one more rule. Uh, some of this greater than zero and let's take it max. Max, then we will take the, uh, let's say this chart. Okay, so if it is zero, then this, if it is not zero, then we are going to have some different colors. Okay, I did something wrong up here. Uh, just a second. Okay, not greater than equals to it should be max less than max equals uh, and it should be greater than not equals to zero and it should be numbers. Now it okay. Now this has been done. Okay, so just you need to uh, make sure that you are using the correct way of representation here. Also, I'm using the numbers. If you see equals to numbers is zero, the rank is even. And if it is not even, then because we are using the column that so it has to get the sum. If you are using the measure, you can directly use this one. Okay, so this is how we can create an alternate colors to a bar. And I've just selected the top 10 actually, that's why if I just do and erase this thing, if you see it, it will have the same thing. Hopefully you like this video, follow for more Power BI updates. Thank you so much.